Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I am going to share a very nice asset for mobile games. So, if you want to create uh, your mobile games and uh, your game is lagging too much, so you uh, did everything for increasing FPS, but you didn't not uh, did not achieve the desired result. So that uh, this asset is for you. So let's see that how we can add and implement this asset. You can download this asset X-Frame FPS Accelerator from UnityGameDeveloper.com website. And uh, uh, after downloading, uh, we will import this asset into our scene. So let's import this asset to our uh, Unity project and after that we will click on import so it will import the related scripts and everything uh, related to x-frame asset so after importing we will move further okay after importing the uh, x-frame accelerator you can open the documentation and here you will find some details about x-frame accelerator so uh, here is the documentation and here you can see that uh, x-frame fps accelerator is a camera script plus some shader effects that improves the fps of your, of your game and uh, the technique used um, by fps accelerator works in two steps makes the camera render to an off screen surface with reduced resolution upscales the render frame to window size optionally applying msaa anti alias plus our custom fast sharpen algorithm you can also check the details in this documentation and here you can also find the process how you can use the x frame accelerator so now we will check that how it will uh, be uh, useful for our game so let's create a train uh, so I will just create a big train uh, just for learning purpose and uh, we will just make it uh, something like uh, 1000 1000 is enough and then we will just add a texture on this train so that we can analyze our train in a better way so we will create a layer we will select a texture for our train and then we will move to our tree section and we will paint some trees so we will add tree and we will select the game object for tree which will be uh, maybe coney fur tree and uh, we will add it and now we can mass place it and we will place uh, around 2000 trees and uh, now you can see a big trees area here and we will also add another type of trees and uh, uh, we will add new tree and here we will find some other type of tree and yeah uh, and then we will mass place these trees as well uh, around 1000 maybe and then we will place another type of trees and I am using trees because trees are very heavy so when we apply too much trees on our train our speed will really slow so that's why we are using a lot of trees just for testing purpose that how our FPS will be reduced after applying these much trees so I don't know that uh, mm, okay let's uh, let's use this bush for as a tree and uh, then we can just mass place around 2000 bushes as well and yeah so so actually bushes are too small we can select these bushes and uh, we can make it bigger but i will add some more trees as well and I think these trees are too much uh, it will reduce the FPS for our game so let's add the uh, character in our scene and which is actually already in the scene but it 
will be at the other point we will just place this character in our train just for testing the fps so when we will run the game and we will move around the train we want to check fps so let's add this thing somewhere here and you can see in scene view even we are lagging too much because it's very heavy scene now and if you use this scene on mobile it will not run simply okay so now we are on ground if you play the game you will see that our scene will be very heavy and you will analyze that uh, you can see we can move but you can see a big lag in our scene so we will open the stats and here we can see that our fps are around where is fps 21 20 something you can see it's very low but we can uh, decrease fps much more as well if we want and i will add some more trees i want some more lag in our game so uh, let's move to yeah let's add some grass uh, now and uh, this grass will uh, reduce the fps so add grass textures we will add some grass from uh, yeah this one maybe and uh, i will just make it a little bit of nice visualization so then we will add it and we can use this brush we will decrease the opacity and strength actually uh, so then uh, we can increase the brush uh, yeah brush is bigger uh, already so we can just uh, paint some grass in the environment and uh, for grass when you paint grass on your environment uh, sometimes you you can feel that uh, grass uh, 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 you don't have any grass on train and it is because when we zoom out we can't see grass when we zoom in we will see the grass okay yeah now you can see it has a grass and uh, we have grass in our game and now you will see that fps will be reduced to something like uh, 10 to 20 i think so so yeah you can see we have very low fps now and it is around 10 to 18 fps 20 fps okay so you can see we are fps are very slow and if you run this game on mobile it will not run simply so we want to increase the fps so we will use uh, the uh, fps accelerator so for fps accelerator you need your camera to be in your game and in this uh, example we are using multi-purpose camera rig you can use your own camera um, uh, whatever you have in your scene you can use that camera as well and after selecting the camera you can go to component you can go to rendering and then you can click on x frame fps accelerator or the second method is to just select the camera and here add component and here you can see as you can search for x frame fps accelerator and you have to add this accelerator to your game so now you will see that we will have some options here and you can see the method first and in this method you can see adaptive down sampling horizontal uh, horizontal down sampling quad down sampling so you can check the uh, details in documentation that what it means and uh, uh, we will use the best choice for us okay also you can see that we have minimum fps which is 30 so uh, actually what it means is that if we have 30 fps uh, plus fps then it will not affect okay if we have lower fps 
below 30 then it will increase the fps and when we will reach to 30 fps it will be uh, it will uh, just it will become inactive okay uh, after that we have enabled nice fps so if we click on nice fps you can see that uh, we have 55 fps at least so we can increase this ratio as well and also in minimum fps we can increase the ratio okay so when we have lower fps than 55 then x frame will work along otherwise it will not work so we just uh, uh, we will just off this for time and i will uh, show you what will happen also you can see adopt speed up adopt speed down minimum quality okay a static camera quality reduce pixel lights manage shadows okay and he's uh, it will work with everything after that we have by um, uh, filtering as well by linear or nearest neighbor and um, a nearest neighbor will work more accurate um, and if you want to increase only the speed and you are not uh, you are not you don't want to be a very good quality you can compromise the quality then you can uh, select the minimum settings okay uh, after that if we play it let's see what will happen now so let's see if we have increased the fps or not so let's see what will happen and here you can see right away we our fps are increased from uh, i don't know why the camera looks like this uh, although we have multi-purpose camera rig and let's add the another camera because this camera is a little bit different so let's add this camera to our third person controller right away and on this camera we will apply x frame fps accelerator and uh, uh, then we will just uh, add this camera something here okay and now we will run our game and you will see a massive increase in fps so before it was uh, 10 to 20 and now you can see we have a nice quality actually you can see it has compromised the quality is compromised a very little bit you can see but you can see the massive change in fps and our fps are increased to 50 60 even okay so you can see very nice effect also the textures and quality is not too much compromised okay and it's uh, quite good for mobiles we can increase fps a uh, little bit more and if we click on enable nice fps and if we uh, uh, quality management settings if we increase the speed a little bit if we adopt speed down if we uh, decrease the minimum quality if we uh, just change the static camera quality if we uh, do some more things like uh, if uh, you can see adapt adaptive down sampling is very uh, beneficial so uh, it will not compromise your quality and if we select quad sampling and uh, down sampling you will see a very massive change in quality as well and it will compromise your quality so you can see you can see that we have a very uh, compromised quality although it will increase your fps more and more than uh, the adaptive down sampling okay but i realized that the quality is too much compromised you can see too much compromised and as compared to this action the uh, another uh, although the fps moves to 90 uh, at some time as well but i think the adaptive uh, method is much more better than the quad sampling okay so if we use horizontal sampling let's see what will happen <coughs> and you can see the quality is quite nice 
and the FPS also goes uh, between up to 40 something, okay, 40, 45 like this. And uh, this is also good choice, but my preference is adaptive down sampling always. Adaptive down sampling is very nice and you can enable the nice FPS as well, okay. Uh, so uh, after that uh, you can make some more changes in these settings and you can uh, <coughs> read the documentation. I didn't read this documentation in detail so that's why I'm not uh, uh, digging deep in this uh, asset. So you can read your documentation and then you will get a very nice result as per your need. So. In this way, you can see uh, our FPS are increased with uh, without quality compromise actually, and we are now around 50 FPS at 60 even. Okay, that's very nice. And before that, we was on only 10 to 20 FPS, I think. So I just removed the X frame just for showing you the initial uh, problem you can see we are around 10 to 20 nothing more yeah and sometime it below 20 and below 10 even okay so and we our game lags too much you can see too much if you run this game on mobile we can't even run although the quality is absolutely nice okay uh, but if we enable the X frame, you will see massive increase instantly. Yeah, you can see FPS. Now it moves to 55, 60 even. Okay, and the quality is also very nice. It's not compromised too much. So for mobile games, I will refer you that you should use this nice asset. It will speed up your game and your game will not uh, lag on your mobile devices that's it for this video let's meet in next video goodbye